Check it out, it's Trevor James. I am in Turpan, China, and today I really want to go try this one special street snack that I've heard a lot of good things about, and then we're going to have an awesome dinner feast. Let's go check it out. As you make your way deeper into China's far west, you begin to find a completely new street food scene and new people. The locals have a cuisine that is worth the trip alone. And as you make your way deeper, there's one thing that you'll see everywhere. Deep tandoor ovens pumping out all sorts of delicious street foods. One of them, the samsa, aka cow bauza, is a beautiful beef or lamb and onion stuffed baked pocket of goodness. And it's found on almost all street corners. You can literally smell the fat sizzling as you walk by. These are just pure street side joy. This is Neuro Sharma. Oh, yeah. Neuro. 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 Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Do you buy a lot of cow bowls? 2,000. 2,000? That is the bowls. The bowls of paradise. Cow bowls in this deep oven. Oh, just look at them fall off the edge. That is like a, that is like a pure bowls of paradise. Deep in the oven. Liang Chen Duo Ma. Wow. Canada? Canada? Canada. Canada. Wow. We haven't eaten it. We haven't eaten it. This is my first time. Oh, try it. Try it. Okay. We're gonna order some up. Those look plump. And how the and how can ma? You do this for how many years ma? Six years. Six years ma? Oh. Oh, you can really smell the the juice just bubbling. It all starts with a spiced, fatty beef filling and some handmade dough sheets. They're meticulously pinched into these little perfect pockets, one by one, and placed aside for the oven master to handle. Just look at these. Just look at these. Just look at these beautiful <laughs> bouts. It's clockwork. Putting them in. Oh yeah. Look at how they peel off and they're crisp. You can actually hear the, the sizzle and the crisp of them. Oh, you can just hear the crispness and the sizzle of the, the, the pastry and the meat. Oh, unbelievable. And a little bit of char from the oven definitely gives it some flavor too. Oh, just look at that. The J 
jackpot. Ni hao, cow baozi. Oh, like roast baozi. <laughs> this looks really good. The do shao chen, wo lai liu ga. Oh, look at this coming right from the oven. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, it's Roger Lima. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. This is Chama. Okay, yes. We really hit the jackpot. We really hit the bow to jackpot. You know, just walking up here and you can smell, you can really smell the beef aroma, the roasted coals and the beef aroma just coming out. You can actually see. The heat coming from that oven, and he said he sells 2,000 of these beauties every day. Oh, and it's so hot! I'm gonna have to take a bite. Mm, that is next level cow bowser right here. That flavor, that beef aroma, the 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 juice is bursting from it. And there's a little bit of onion, but the real flavor comes from the fat. It's quite juicy. This is a this honestly right here is a meal. You eat six of these, twelve of these, and you're really happy. This it is bursting and it is full and it is plump and it is unbelievably juicy. Look at all the fat in there. It is so saturated with juice, and the inside is so soft. Almost like a filo dough, and the outside is slightly crispy, like a croissant. It is perfectly seasoned, <laughs> and that flavor, unbelievable. This is the best bauta I've ever had. The roasted bauta. Oh, right on the street. Can you come here, Liu? Oh yeah. Ting hao chuda. Oh, Thai haola. That is gonna be a feast. Hen hao chida. Shini. Look at the inside. It actually has a slight but not overpowering cumin flavor. And that totally elevates it. It just melts into your mouth with the beef fat and the cumin and the oils bursting out. That is. Thai hao chida. Like, uh, yin gai do. After that delicious street food delight, we made our way for a walk around the ancient alleyways of Turpan, a truly unforgettable experience. We just took a turn after those beautiful 12 bouts, and we are what feels in like an old, traditional Uyghur neighborhood. Everything's made from bricks and grass. And one thing that's really shocked me about this whole city is how ancient it really feels. And this is a true travel destination. Wow, this is totally a different world. Just walking through this neighborhood, through this city, it feels like a completely different universe. The culture and the history and you can walk through these old Uyghur towns. It's 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 breathtaking. Look look at these alleyways. There's like no tourists here, and you're walking through this what feels like ancient oasis town. This is totally a unique part of China. There's a mosque behind me. There's unique bread. We just got like a Xinjiang style bagel from across the street. There's nang, there's cows and mutton hanging up and everyone is smiling when we walk past. This is a totally worthy travel destination, not only for the food, but for the people and the adventure. We are just uh, walking through this neighborhood right now. I'm totally blown away. It's like how amazing the food is and the people and how chill it is in here. And the nature is like, it's awesome. You cannot see any of this in other city. After that nice walk through ancient Turpan, we made our way to a famous restaurant to try some local Uyghur specialties. 
So we've been walking around, enjoying the outskirts of Turpan. Now we're back in the main city and we're gonna go to a famous Uyghur restaurant that's supposed to have some of the best meat. Let's go try it out. Get some good meat. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, oh. So we're here early right now. It is about 6.30, but actually in Xinjiang, that means it's 4.30. Beijing official time is 6.30, but all the locals go by Xinjiang time, which is two hours earlier. So. That's why it's empty, but we're hungry because our stomachs are on Beijing time. Chigashi. Chodra Roma. Oh, Chodra Fan. Shishini. Songma. Oh, Shishini. Oh, look at all of this beautiful, beautiful food. All the food just got here. Oh, and this is really what we came for right here this dish. This Chodra Ro. It literally translated as hand grasped, grasped mutton, covered in onions. It looks like it doesn't have much seasoning on it, but we're just gonna go right in and try that out. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Shishini. Wow. This is really actually, looks can be deceiving. It's seasoned quite well, and the, the meat is very muscular. Mmm, and juicy as well. We've also got a big lamb kebab on a stick. Oh, and then their hand pulled noodles over here. Cover, I think these are beans. Dodo literally means beans, and you can see they're, they're light. Oh, and big chunks of mutton with hand pulled noodles. That's gonna be gorgeous. And then over here, this is the Zhua Fan. Basically a pilaf, Central Asian pilaf, with nice big chunks of mutton and carrots. And I believe these are yellow carrots as well. And it's quite oily. They use cottonseed oil. Oh, I'm, I gotta go in for this right now. really tastes like there's a sweet pumpkin in there. Very smooth and soft and sweet pumpkin with this ultra tender melt in your mouth lamb meat. But we really gotta try is the banh mi an. There is nothing like the texture of delicious handful of noodles in a special sauce. And this is their homemade sauce, so we're gonna try it out. Oh yeah. The beans on there give it a very deep, earthy, hearty flavor. And the mutton, oh, the mutton is also really good with the handful of noodles. This is, oh, this is incredible. Make a hand house for the, make a show to our own. Oh, hi, make a chua fan. Bye -bye. If you're enjoying this Silk Road series, please leave me a thumbs up down below and leave me a comment too, letting me know what you thought. I would love to hear from you. This Silk Road trip really is the trip of a lifetime. From all the amazing food, friendly people, and beautiful scenery, coming here on a food trip really is a must. So thank you so much for watching. You can check out the whole Silk Road street food playlist to watch the whole series. Thanks again, guys.